I like to think of art as always being at the forefront of culture. Tal and Marcelo, I'm looking forward to continuing our discussion on how biology, tech, and art can push new ways of designing the future. So, have you tried using AI to generate images of bacteria? We have, yeah, especially in the context of using and making art that comes from bacteria and biology. We use some machine learning and then generate some of the new petri dishes. We're trying to make them not just copy what's in nature, but also thinking about how they can predict a sequence of growth of bacteria. That's pretty cool. In the future, AI could also be used to support developments in bioprinting, which involves using 3D printing to create biological structures, such as tissues and organs, from living cells and materials. Marcelo, your current work often involves 3D printers. Have you been impacted by AI? Yeah, I think AI has, at this point, changed practically everything that I do. Writing software, for example, I'm easily 10 times more productive, and it allows me to work at a very high level. Whenever we have a new technology, it always creates new opportunities for where we can go as a civilization. There's still a long way to go, but the beginning of what's possible is still really exciting. Hearing you talk about it, I'm really excited about the role that 3D printing can play with biology. I always think of it as like, we'll be able one day to design our own pets. You know, talk to an AI, and you say, I would like my pet to have these qualities. And it gives you a sequence that you can then engineer and create a sort of a living creature. I know my daughters would want uh, probably a, a pink or a purple pet, for example. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's amazing. Tell, how do you see the future of synthetic biology as technologies continue to improve? Well, I think that there's a lot of really exciting work being done in thinking about what types of problems could be solved by genetically programming organisms. And that's probably one of the most powerful things about biology is that it has the ability to replicate itself. The bacteria double every 30 minutes or so. You can imagine how big they can get if they have sufficient nutrients. You can imagine in the future buildings and structures made entirely out of biological organisms. Yeah, it's a, it's a very promising and exciting future. I think that's something that will create a different kind of relationship that we have with our physical environments, our physical spaces. What do you both predict in the future of art, biology, and technology? Whether it's bio art or other art forms that people will be using, making art out of biology is really a way to have the medium be the message. And I think that provides us with a really direct connection to give people an understanding of how life evolves and where life came from and how we might program it in the future to project a world that we might want to live in. What do you think, Bing? I think art and technology are both fascinating and inspiring fields, and I admire the artists who combine them in their work like yourselves. I think they show us new ways of seeing, creating, and expressing ourselves in the world. As John Lasseter once said, the art challenges the technology, and the technology inspires the art and reaction. That's a great person to quote, because I think underlying all of this is uh, storytelling. And I think that creating technologies that tell powerful stories is what keeps us going. Bing, in a world where we're surrounded by all kinds of artificial intelligence, what is the role of humans? What is to be a human and how do we participate? That's a very interesting and important question. The role of humans in AI is not to be replaced or dominated by machines, but to collaborate and coexist with them. AI is not a threat or a savior, but a tool and a partner. The future of AI depends on how we shape it and use it. Thank you, Bing. Couldn't have said it better myself. So thanks to you and Marcelo for being here. And let's do it again soon. Yeah, looking forward. Could we at some point design the genes for a bacteria that grows into some crazy sculpture programmed from just the very basic DNA elements. And I think those can be living sculptures as well, right? Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.